I don't care if I sound angry, the angry black woman, whatever. But I was struggling to bring my TV, well, fit it into my car. It was in a big box. It's a 55 inch. It could barely fit into this car. At first, this girl was helping me that worked at Best Buy where I got it from, but we couldn't get it in. And then she kind of like left. And I said, I'm going to try and figure it out on my own. I'm sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. It took an older man to come and see me struggling. He came out, he had a knife. He came out and helped me take the TV out of the box and put it in my back seat. And then he took the box, put it in his truck and was going to go dump it elsewhere because there's no dumpster nearby. They don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men because there are good men out there, but it's such a rare thing. It took an older man to do that. He had to have been like 70, 80 years old and it took him not all these young fit guys, it took him. We gotta go back to the drawing board because it's just crazy how much as a woman, like you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. They rush and sit down on trains and buses before women and pregnant women and elderly are sitting down. It's just a hot mess out here. But I think that man, he is going to be extremely blessed. Even when I tried to offer him some cash, he didn't want to take it. Um, but yeah, that was just an insane experience. I'm so grateful that she said not all men because I know there are some good men out there. And I agree with her a thousand percent that today's younger generation of men could care less about helping a woman. They could care less about giving their seat up, holding a door up, open. I agree with her. A lot of women have this experience, but let me explain why. It's the women's fault. Wait a minute, don't fight me. For the girlfriends that are jealous, the wives that are jealous, you better not talk to no other woman. Your husband, your boyfriend is afraid to help that woman because he don't want to have to hear your mouth. So in his mind, he has to say all women. I can't help any woman. I, my girlfriend going to be jealous of all women. My wife going to question me. I just won't do it. Then you have the women that are absolutely hateful and will not say thank you. A man opens the door, that's what he's supposed to do. A man helps her carry her water or carry her TV. I, well, that's a man, a man is supposed to do. Men get tired of not being appreciated, so they stop helping. And then you have the men that have absolutely no brain of their own and have fallen in love with the red pill community and have decided that all the podcasters that say treat women like material, like property, don't do nothing for them, simp. For all the men who say that and follow that, those are, to me, the three main reasons why men don't help no more. The older men are the ones who help and hold the doors open because they know and they don't care nothing about what the world thinks. The younger men are too worried about how they're going to look, how they'll be perceived, what somebody will think. I don't want to look soft. I don't want to argue with my girl because... Y'all already cheating and causing problems. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going? I agree. They do need to bring the real men back, but they also need to bring the real women back because I'm not beyond saying, hey, do you mind helping me with this TV? Do you mind helping me with this water, please? But there are a lot of women, not her, but there are a lot of women that refuse. I don't need no man. I ain't asking no man for nothing. But then in the same breath, that's why it ain't no real men anymore. Yeah, let's do better.